do you find comfort? Pain and fear are two separate things. I can fear pain. Pain can create fear, but they are separate. Pain and fear have been in my life longer than anything else. Love and living a pain-free life, that's relatively new. Comfort has a few definitions. A state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. Like room for four people to travel in comfort. The ease or alleviation of a person's feelings of grief or distress. One comfort is for our flesh and bones. The other comfort is an internal comfort, the kind that touches a broken heart. Well, I like both comforts. The first comfort is minimal without having the second comfort in your life. For example, I can receive a beautiful spa massage and my heart can be in pain. Internal pain is what survivors of sexual crimes deal with often accompanied by a body that betrays them through aches, pains, and a variety of illnesses. I hear a lot of stories from victims as a result of my openness. What I find makes my story uniquely different is that I believe in a God that comforts me. I have cried out to him more times than I can count. It works. It is on the miraculous side, really. When the pain didn't subside, I called out to a God that was bigger than the circumstances. A God who could see around the corner for me and know what would be coming next. Faith is what has set my story apart. God is never done with us. He is never tired of our struggles. In our humanity, is where he does his best work.